from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira. This morning on the psychology of eating out, the hidden strategies to get you to order more food and spend more money when you eat out. It's called menu engineering, and today's Jenna Wolf got this skinny on how it works. Good morning, Jenna. Hey, Amy. All right, so for decades, retailers have engineered their store displays to get you to buy more stuff. As it turns out, restaurants do the same thing. Their menus are also designed with psychology in mind, and after you see this report, you'll never look at a menu the same way again. It's lunchtime at Brooklyn Diner in New York, and orders are pouring in. I think I'm going to get the Chinese chicken salad. I ordered the cheeseburger deluxe. Well, I'm going to have to go for the hot pastrami sandwich. But is that what customers really want, or is the menu deciding for them? Turns out these and many other menus are loaded with secret psychological strategies. And the man pulling all the strings is menu engineer Greg Rapp. When you open that menu, we know that you're going to order an entree. My goal is getting the person to look for the more profitable items. For two decades now, Rapp has engineered menus for many well-known restaurants. So we met up with him at Seppi's in New York for a lesson in menu psychology. What is the biggest mistake that restaurants make when it comes to designing a menu? Well, the biggest mistake, and you'll see this all over, is they'll put little leader dots over to the price. So what a consumer will do is they'll go to that list, go up and down, find the cheapest item, and go over. Wow, look at these prices. Yeah, these are pretty cha-ching. <laughs> On wraps menus, the prices are buried beneath each item, and dollar signs are banished altogether. Imagine you have 150 items, 150 dollar signs. If you take those off, it softens the prices. But what about those shockingly expensive items you see on some menus, like this thousand dollar frittata? Rap actually uses them as decoys. You're probably not going to buy it, but what will happen is you'll find something else a little bit cheaper and it will look more reasonable. So here right above it is a $20 asparagus omelet, okay? I would never spend $20 on asparagus omelet. You compare that with a $1,000 frittata and right away I'm like, oh, that's a good deal. And to get you to order the most profitable items, Rap puts them where your eyes go first, on the upper right-hand side. He says diners will also spend more money when the food comes with mouth-watering descriptions. They alone can boost sales nearly 30%. This Maryland-style crab cake, listen to this description. Made by hand with sweet jumbo crab meat, a touch of mayonnaise, our secret blend of seasonings, and golden cracker crumbs for a rich, tender crab cake? I would marry this crab cake. His strategy's got me hooked, but what about the general public? To find out, we had Rap design two menus with identical food and prices. We took them to Norma's restaurant at New York's Parker Meridian Hotel. My name is Jenna, I'll be your server for this evening. We asked people to order a meal. Half the diners got an old school menu with dollar signs, price lists, and little organization. As a result, everyone ordered something different, and money was on their mind. I definitely factor in prices, especially in today's economy. Our second group got an engineered menu with delicious descriptions, buried prices, and profitable items like the crab cakes placed where everyone would see them first. And in every case... I think I'd probably go with the Maryland style crab cakes. How about the Maryland style crab cakes? I'll have the Maryland crab cakes. That's exactly what people ordered, spending 15% more on their meals. Is it a trick? No, I call it tools. And by the end of the day, a restaurant tour needs to survive. So I wondered, where was this guy when I was trying to survive junior high? I could have used you at my sixth grade bake sale. He sold nothing, nothing. Oh, and baked Alaska, that would be. Right, baked Alaska as opposed to yeah. mom's brownies. There you go. Yeah, that sold there nothing. I thought I nixed the idea to have that picture left in there. Rap says he guarantees restaurants better profits if they use his menu ideas. And in 26 years, he claims he has never had to give a refund. Very interesting. Jenna, thanks so much.